we'll start it off. Sure. <laughs> That's the intro. Right that there. is a teeny little back. Is her going? <laughs> <laughs> or she is drinking a whiskey. <laughs> little alcoholic over here. It's all right. I've got a bigger one. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the show. We are Horror Fanatic Reviews. To my, I guess, technically my, my left. This is, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Jordan. He's an envoy of the lizard people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and with us tonight is our special guest, Daniela. We hope she'll join us for yeah. other shows. But... Hot! <laughs> Jason She's... could not be with us tonight. Yeah, Sadly, uh, he had some things come up, but tonight's episode, we are going to be reviewing an old favorite, and uh, Jordan, you said it was your favorite film? It was one when I was a kid that just scared the hell out of me. It's one of my favorites. So it got you started pretty much. Yes. Uh, tonight we are reviewing Pumpkinhead. <laughs> I like that. He wasn't a jerk to his son. Because his dad, was, he was feeding the dog from the table. He was not from the table, son. He's like, but dad, he's all full hungry. He's like, well, don't put it in the bowl. So don't feed him from the table. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> it's a camera, stupid. 
I'm sorry, but the moment that he laid hands on my girlfriend, I'd have had a hold of that gun. And I'd have been like, you get down on the floor, and don't you even look up at me. We're going to plug that phone <laughs> back in, and we're going to call the cops, and you're going to jail tonight. Yep.
this old man. Don't believe this. I'm not going to jail for a fucking Come on, Steve. Look, the kid's father showed up. He took the kid away. Now, I think everything's going to be okay. Really? Yeah. Did you tell him what happened? I told him it was an accident. And? And he, and he just looked at me. What do you mean he just looked at you? I don't know. Don't lie to me! He looked at me like he wanted to kill me. Mm -hmm. Owl. Owl was grooving too. You ever seen, you ever seen that like, old YouTube video? Row, 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 ditch owl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you seen it? You have to show Danielle. It's a fantastic video. They're all like turning the owl because its head stays in place. Oh, and they're like, so row, funny. row, row, ditch owl. It's funny. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who is that? Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. I remember when they invented chocolate. <laughs> I always hated it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, she's freaky. What you bringing me a dead boy for? I asked for chocolate. <laughs> Lisa was like, I thought you were a chocolate. <laughs> what? What did you say? <laughs> oh my god. This is everything. Wild times, I'll tell you what. There's some wild parties. Goes back, they're still old witches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> By now, this is the point where she regrets agreeing to this. <laughs> Because it's true. <laughs> I remember the sorority boys in Razorback Hollow. Oh my. Oh, that was when the scary shit starts. Chicken feet. Yeah, the way. Dang. 
<laughs> My old fingers have a lot of arthritis. <laughs> We did this to all the corpses back in my day. <laughs> so right here, okay, she cuts the kid's hand and the kid bleeds. Corpses don't bleed. Yeah. Unless you hang them upside. Yeah, once the heart stops, the blood stops throwing, flowing through your veins. Oh, okay. Which is why when your body gets cold, rigor mortis sets in. Because all the muscles freeze up, there's no more oxygen. Drink up, buddy. I bet you're thirsty. Been asleep for a long time. Oh, boy. <laughs> I love the practical effects for this thing, too. Yeah. Really good animatronics for the fucking idea. Instantaneously grows. Thing. We'll find him now and come back. I need you. It's okay. You should have once been here. Should have spotted you. My son just died, and I just committed my soul to hell. Now is a good time to start drinking. Right. Is she okay? I mean, we just forgot it. God is the only thing that can stop what's happening to us. Keep going with that gun idea. I'm sure it'll help you to see it there. That was cool. I love that. The shadow, the yeah, silhouette as it walks by. It's hard to notice, but when you notice it, you're like, oh, well, man. They definitely got some influence from him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, come on, we're going to find him. We got to find Billy. Batch Billy is dead. Billy's dead. Seems like a monkey likes to stay in the high places. What gets me too is that he just picked her up with one hand and carried her up the side of that building. And she's running around the side of the building like, oh, we gotta find her. Like, what are you gonna do? Throw rocks at it? Right? It's like, what the hell? Say some harsh words. Maybe he'll let her go.
really truly. Why it scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Yeah. We watched that when we were eight. Holy crap. Holy crap, bird. Wow, this thing doesn't like to. I'm scared I'm going to break the handle off of the chair. <laughs> How did you like it, Daniela? I liked it. Scary? Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't think I'd get so scared. It's scary. It was pretty freaky, though, wasn't it? Yeah. This movie scared me. The, it, it, what really is scary about this movie, yes, the creature is scary, but the whole concept of everything that's going on, like the damnation that he's putting on himself, his souls basically laid down to hell, the creature that he's conjured, cannot be stopped until it's fulfilled like its desired purpose. That is creepy. <laughs> yeah, and then like the creature gets killed, but he becomes the next one. Like it's just like this never ends. That's creepy. So, what was your favorite scene? To be honest, when she like when he drops her from the when tree. he drops her from the top of the tree, <laughs> uh, he's all like, "What I got?" So funny. Yeah. <laughs> what is uh? If there was any. Part of this film, if there's any scene in this movie that you would like to do better, which one would it be? That is a hard question. Hard. It is, on like, this one especially, because they did a very good job on they this did, one. They did a very good job with this one. Uh, personally, if there were anything that I could do that I would change. Um, I don't think that they really thought logically on behalf of the kid when he got hurt. No, I understand that it's the main plot device for this film. Yeah. But honestly, like, I think it would have been more damning if, you know, he really did try to rush the kid to the hospital and the kid wound up dying yeah. on the way. That and I kind of like how they tried to kind of redeem the douchebag guy. Yeah, like, they kind of tried to read, like, he's already, like... He's already a douchebag and everybody hates him and everyone he wants him to die. You yeah. might as well keep him as, like... You might as well keep him the way he is. And, mm -hmm. you know but then I mean? they, they tried to make an effort... To, they made a concerted effort to try and make you care about him before he died. Because yeah. they're like, oh, well, he's it, turning around now. That's the thing, thing. It's like... Yeah. Like, That's the thing. is like, you've got five of the teenagers there... That are innocent from it and that you do care about, and the one douchebag that deserves to die that everybody's gonna be like, yes, kill him. You know? The way he dies is pretty intense, though, and pale. When he's just like playing with his head, that yeah, was. Funny. Honestly, that was my favorite scene, was when he's sitting there, like, playing with the head, just letting it flop back, and he's <laughs> like, well, that was too quick. It's kind of like One Punch Man when he's like, well, that was over quickly. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, he's but, like, I'm going to enjoy it a little bit more. 
Or, <laughs> but he, uh, like, that scene where he just, like, grabs the girl, just, like, pulls her up and over the roof, I really like that scene, but I, I think my favorite scene is just right there with the closet. When he looks in, and he comes out, and then he comes back in and goes, <laughs> oh, oh, right right in the kid's face. face, and you can see his face and the teeth, and it's just like, right there, you realize, man, that looks really creepy. They did a good job on that thing, and it made it look really scary. I love that scene. Shut up. So, which part Which part do you think you'll, you'd will you rather fix? Like, when they tried to redeem the douchebag? Yeah, that that, that's probably the one right there. He's, like, sit, like, he's dead set on, you know, trying to cover up what he did, and all of a sudden, mm-hmm. sitting there a few minutes later... All of a sudden, now he wants to redeem himself. I don't think, I don't think somebody like that is gonna turn around like that quickly in that short time. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. They might as well just have kept him as like the douchebag who knew him to get killed at that point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because that that always bugged me. I was like, what? Like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, now he wants to like turn around after what he did, not only killing the kid but also hitting that other guy over the head. With like the the what is the the log or whatever, yeah. and then locking them both in the closet. Yeah. I don't know. That's the only th- part of the movie that really really bothered me. Everything else though was like really good. Honestly, I thought he killed him when he like hit him. Yeah. Over the head. That could very easily kill yeah, someone. Yeah. <laughs> he very easily kill And he's not a small notice. He was like the biggest guy there. Some mm-hmm. the big guy hitting you over the head with a log. If you hit hard, that's going to kill you. So, give it a rating, 1 out of 10. Ooh. I'll give it a solid 8. It really scared me. And I, I was very surprised how well it was made, considering its type. Yeah, 1988. And this came out, so that's what. This came out. This video came out the day, I, the year that I was 30, born. thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, because it's two thousand eighteen now. So this is the movie is exactly. 30 I was going to say this movie came out the year that I was born. Came out three years after I was born. This movie is old, and they did a very good job. Me personally, I give it a solid. I, I give it a nine. Nine. That that movie. You show that to anybody even nowadays, that's going to scare the crap out of you. You get it like a dark room, surround something like this, and they can watch it, that's going to scare them. Like, even by today's standard, that, sc- that creature, like, in that scene when it's hooking in the closet, that's scary. Yeah. <laughs> that is scary. I'm going to give this one uh, a nine, too, because every year it never, I mean, it's one of my favorite movies to watch on Halloween. I watch it. Every single year without fail. It's one of my traditions. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a nine. Yeah, like, just like at the end there, how it comes full circle and him being mm-hmm. there, and you see the necklace that this kid made, and you're like, oh, oh, man. I just give it a nine instead of a ten just because of that one point where they're trying to redeem the douchebag. Uh, yeah. And I'm just like, come on. Let the guy die a douchebag. That's what everybody watching the movie wants. They're not going to care that all of a sudden now he's had a change of heart. He's still a douchebag and they still want him to die. It's like they should have just left that. They should have just left that at that. And at that point, I would have been like 10. This is is really good. The douchebag right off of that. (laughs) Yeah. He should have, like, honestly, he should have been the first one that died. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So, what film did we vote? What what, what did we do next? The thing. The thing! My favorite film. You haven't seen it, have you? This one is just like Pumpkinhead to me. It's old, but it is still for its time. Terrifying. It is still absolutely terrifying. The practical effects in it are fantastic. Better than Pump. In my opinion, the practical effects better than Pump. That movie is terrifying. In fact, if you haven't seen the film, I can't wait to see how you react to the film that <laughs> has still scary. stuck with me to this day. It's scary. It is it's scary. terrifying. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I'm not going to be back. <laughs> she's like, I think I'm going to skip the next filming. <laughs> no, the thing is good. you got to come and watch it. It's going to be good. Don't worry. We'll all here be here laughing and joking. 
probably screaming, because that one was really scary, but it'll be fun. We gotta make sure Jason's here for that one. Absolutely, sure. we do. I wish he was here for this one, because this one's really good. Maybe we'll have to do like a re-showing of it, just to like get all together and do a re-showing of it. Not necessarily record, but like watch it with him. Yeah. Because this is good. When the kid th- make, made the necklace for him, I was going to say that it, you've seen the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, it looked like one of the, the little... Oh, the when, they, when they the walk and, when and they happen walk upon into that, the that forest that and like they just like, like come across that. You know, that movie I was, was like, really that's scary. That's a bad that's that, that movie was out. real. It was pretty creepy, but it didn't really scare me a whole lot. It was really good at building an atmosphere of suspense, but as far as a, a true, genuine, like more of that film was more about how badly can we confuse the audience. Yeah, it was, it was very confusing, and I fell asleep halfway. <laughs> Like my friend was scared, and I watched it. And I was like, "Yeah, I mean, it was scary, but I would give, I would give Blair Witch personally. I'd give that one like a six, maybe a seven, because it really did not like. It was creepy at some points, and they did some pretty good atmosphere stuff, but just overall horror, not really that much. I mean, there's a few points where it, like made to jump, but other than that, all it really was was a jump scare because you didn't see anything. There was really confusing. It's just you know. If we ever review that, we'll just come over. Yeah. We gotta review some really crappy horror movies, too. I think that would be really fun. Well, oh. that was Pumpkinhead. Still scared the hell out of me like it did way back in the day. Not as much. And now I can more appreciate it rather than just be terrified by it. But You've heard our opinion now. Very it's good. time to go out, watch it, and form your own opinion. Which is why we try not to spoil too much. Mm-hmm. Very, very good movie. So yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.